What is going on guys? In this video, we are going to talk about why I use VI mode keybinds. I've had a couple people reach out and ask like if I'm using VI mode or why I use it or kind of how it works and all that kind of jazz. So I just wanted to make a video just to talk about that and why VI mode, if you've never tried it before, you probably should because it's going to make you a lot more efficient. Um, so I want to tell you the story of how I started using VI and VI mode um, and kind of why I continue to use it even after all these years. Um, so first of all, if you don't know what VI mode is, it's well, it came out of a original editor called Vim. And um, there's a certain set of keybinds that are associated with Vim. So you use your, your keyboard to navigate around the text on the page as opposed to usually using your arrows or your mouse as a more traditional way. It's also got a whole other bunch of shortcuts embedded in it. So you can like skip to the end of the page, you can go to the beginning, you can delete multiple lines, you can do visual selections. And there's all sorts of things that you can do with VI mode or like Vim embedded in an editor. Um, it's really, really powerful in terms of micro efficiencies. So you may say to yourself, it's like, oh yeah, like I can use my, my keyboard and I can just use my arrows to navigate around and I'll be just as fast, right? But I guarantee like you're gonna be so much faster if you're just exclusively using the VI keybinds and always keeping your hands on your keyboard instead of switching back and forth every time between your mouse and your keyboard. Um, so that's a little bit about what VI mode is. I'll put a video up here of me kind of playing around and showing you um, some examples of it in action. Um, so it's important to note that like you can use VI mode keybinds outside of Vim, which is the original editor where this stuff was kind of invented. Uh, so it's really great to combine all the advantages of VI mode with uh, like a traditional editor because you get all the advantages of the editor and then you're using the great keybinds that come with VI mode. And that's usually done with like some kind of plugin that comes on your editor and any half decent editor will have a VI mode. Um, so that's kind of what VI mode is. And in terms of like how I started and why I started using it, uh, I still remember the story because it's kind of like a vivid memory of when something clicked in my brain, I decided to start using it. Um, so around like nine year, nine, maybe 10 years ago, when I first started working like my first uh, job at a big boy company, um, I remember this, this new guy came in and he was a little bit of an older programmer and he came in and I remember him like getting set up with his, his editor and everything. And, you know, I was learning stuff off of him already. And he started getting set up and I remember he used to type all of his notes in Vim as well. Like he used traditional Vim, not like Vim or VI mode within an editor. So he got his setup going. I just remember seeing his hands and his keyboard and like the flurry of text coming down the screen and him navigating all over the page. It was just so obvious that he was so efficient with every keystroke. Like he was doing things so quickly and I was just like, I need to learn how to do this. And like the speed at which this guy wrote code, the speed at which this guy just typed notes and kind of navigated around the screen, it was just blowing my mind. And I decided right there at that moment that I wanted to learn Vim, learn Vim and I wanted to get as good as this guy. So this is like something I'm always looking to kind of improve on. Like this mental picture of this, this guy, his name is Steve, just, just bombing the keyboard and being super, super efficient. Uh, so I, I, I took that and I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to start learning this. So I, I started out by switching out my, my mode to VI mode. And this is very simple if you have like any half decent editor, like I said. And it was the most frustrating experience I've ever had first learning how to use VI mode well. It was like I probably reduced my efficiency in writing code by like 50% over the course of like a week. It was really bad. Like just struggling to, to like switch between the insert and the editing modes and like all the visual block modes. There's like information overload when you're first learning. And like you're so used to the, the other mode, which is when you're using just your normal, you know, arrows and, and non-vim mode. It's just such a, a brutal learning curve in the beginning, but slowly over time, Day by day, I was just getting better and better. I was starting to build that muscle memory. Something was happening in my brain. So like I, I was learning exactly what I needed to do uh, to, you know, kind of, I knew what I wanted to do. Then I learned how to do it uh, uh, or the command that associated with it. And so that was kind of my journey of starting to learn Vim. And since then, I've always combined it with using an editor just because I want to combine the benefits of a great editor that has like a debugger and all the, the plugin features and the advantages of Vim and, and VI mode. Uh, and all the great um, efficiencies that come out of using the keybinds. So in terms of like why I continue to use it, so there's like three or four main reasons. 
Uh, so the first one should be pretty obvious by now. It's super fast. Um, it's what I call a micro efficiency. So, you know, you may say to yourself like, oh, you can easily use the, the arrows to do the same thing. Yeah, you, you're, you're pretty much right. You can. It's just going to take you a little bit longer. And, you know, using your keystrokes to jump around, you're, you're saving small amounts of time thousands of times per day. So it, it adds up like, you know, these, these second or half a second, you multiply that by enough times and you can clearly start to see the benefits. So like every day you'll probably save maybe 20 minutes of just fumbling around your keyboard or moving around. Maybe that's excessive, maybe like 10 minutes. I don't know. Someone do the math and let me know. Um, but it's super, super fast. Uh, and the other reason that I really, really like it is there's so many features that come out of it. I'm constantly learning. Like I, I'm learning things, you know, every week about uh, Vim and it's constantly making me better. And uh, it's always fun to learn something like, oh, this is something, uh, this is how to do something specific in Vim and then finding an opportunity to apply it and it actually saving you a little bit of time. There's always that satisfaction there. Uh, like my main, my favorite feature is that you can store um, blocks of text like on your on your clipboard in a key as a variable and then recall that and paste that at any time. That's something that I, I really fell in love with when I started learning it. So just goes to show like you're going to be constantly learning if you're using Vim. Compare that if you're using like your traditional key binds, your, your, your skill ceiling caps out or your, your technical efficiency uh, abilities cap out really quick if you're just using normal uh, arrows. But if you're using Vim, you're constantly learning, you're constantly getting better and finding other ways to make yourself a little bit more efficient. Uh, the other reason that I, I think it's important to know and you should at least know how Vim works or how to use it in a basic way is that it's ubiquitous. It's everywhere if you're using kind of uh, Mac terminals or Linux operating systems. Uh, if you're going to be, you know, developing applications and you need to SSH into those boxes, maybe you need to make a quick little edit on a, on a config file. How are you going to do it, right? You need to, every Linux distribution comes with Vim and comes with, you know, VI mode embedded in it. Um, so it's a, it's a fantastic text editor just on its own, but um, it's important to know the keybinds and how, how it works. So if you're faced in these situations, then you can easily kind of uh, make changes if you need to. Um, and the last reason that I really like uh, using these keybinds is it just looks cool. Like like this guy showed me, like he was incredible. I'm sure kind of I'm, I've got to maybe 50% of where this guy is, but still it looks pretty impressive when I'm flying around the screen and doing this stuff pretty quick. Uh, so that is the, the final reason that I think it's useful. I was thinking about doing a video or a follow-up video of this where I kind of give you a complete introduction to Vim. If you're interested in that, let me know down below. And if you've never used Vim before and you're thinking about using it, let me know down below and tell me why. I want to know why people are not using VI mode or Vim more often when they're developing applications. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you next time.